Hello everybody and welcome to the State Fair training. My name is Jenna Washneski and I'm the Public Education and Marketing Coordinator for the National MS Society Minnesota Chapter. And I'm very excited to be here today to talk to you about the Minnesota State Fair. Woo, Minnesota! Um, we're going to have fun today. We're going to talk a little bit about the State Fair. If you've volunteered for the State Fair before, you will have heard some of these things before and it never hurts to refresh it a little bit. And if you've never volunteered at the State Fair before, you're going to learn a little bit about being a representative for the MS Society and just some things to know about the State Fair in general. So let's just get started. You will, if you haven't already, um, looked at this training manual. It is on our website and if you do want a hard copy of this we can certainly send you one. And so I'm going to go over a few things today, some of which will be in the manual but I'm not going to go through it word for word because that would be completely exhausting and this would be the longest video ever. So I'm just going to go through some of the important things and then I will rely on you to read through this just to understand a little bit more about what we're expecting you to do as a volunteer at the fair. And so you're probably thinking, okay, why am I sitting here watching this YouTube training? Why do I have to do this? Well, it's kind of simple. We have 12 days at the state fair. And in, on each of those days, we have three different shifts where we have maybe three or four different volunteers on each of those shifts. And we want to make sure that no matter what day someone comes to the state fair, no matter what time, that they have the same clear, consistent message each day of the fair. So making sure that all of the volunteers have the same messaging and the same understanding of how to represent the MS Society. So that's why we're doing this training, so that we can all be on the same page. And also another thing I'd like to add is that this year we're doing things a little bit differently at the fair. In the past we've always had just kind of the same theme throughout each 12 days of the fair. This year the MS Society is going to be focusing on a different program, activity, or event on each day of the fair. So it's a really exciting way for us to promote things like Bike MS or Walk MS or volunteering or advocacy or our friends and family programs or 20s and 30s programs, whatever the case may be. It's a really unique way to target people with those messages and those, uh, that information about those different things that we do at our chapter. So we're doing things a little bit differently. And if you are volunteering on one of these theme-specific days, you will be receiving training information um, in addition to this at a later date, probably within the next couple of weeks. We'll send you just some things that you need to know, some talking points, some messages about how to talk to people on those days of the fair about those particular activities or programs or events. Don't want to do all that at once here today because that would be totally overwhelming and uh, it would be really hard to retain all that information. So that being said, I'm going to move forward and talk a little bit about um, a little bit more about what to expect. Like I said, there's going to be different themes each day of the fair and you will probably be in more communication with that day's coordinator as the date approaches. And uh, you will likely be volunteering with two or three other people. We usually have three or four people on the shift. And so um, you can expect to have a couple of people there along with you so you're not doing it alone. And the, this Minnesota State Fair, as I'm sure many of you know, I'm assuming most of you have been to the State Fair, it's a pretty exciting and popular time. Um, but the State Fair is a really excellent opportunity for us to reach out to new people, educate everybody who walks by, and also um, just get in touch with people who already know us and who already do our events or who are already uh, participating in our programs. So it's a really unique opportunity to cultivate, reach out, promote, and you know, no better place to do that than at the State Fair. We have tens of thousands of visitors. Uh, each year coming to our booth at the fair. So as you know, this is a really huge public education opportunity for us and it's really important that we are able to reach as many people as we can with our messages.